What is the darkest, most disgusting secret in your past? NSFW NSFL. Four years ago I found my girlfriend on the floor of her bathroom after having shot herself. We were pretty much inseparable for quite a few years. So people tend to bring up whatever happened to her? A lot. Because of that. I actually have a somewhat elaborate lie that I tell people so I don't have to tell them the truth. Reddit is far too trusting of farts. When I was 12 I went to my grandpa's house and since he was a hunter at the time he had this huge ass stuffed bear but it was empty with a hole in its back. I thought it would be funny to climb inside and be a bear. So I got inside and as soon as I got inside my grandpa and some of his friends that had come over that day entered the room where the bear. I. Was. I waited for what felt like an hour as they discussed guns and bears in. I got bored and. Being a 12 year old who had just discovered the wonders of fapping. Had the idea to rub one out inside the iron bear. Once I had finished the dark deed inside the bear. I accidentally bumped into the wall the bear was near. Grandpa heard it and pulled me out with my pants around my legs and a boner in full view of his friends. We never spoke of it ever again. PL. DRI came inside a bear and my grandpa found me. I'm 21. First week in my new apartment I take a shower and walk to my clothes hamper in the nude. I let out your typical fart. And somehow end up ting in the floor while just standing there. Throw away. So I was about 8 and I just figured out that grinding my penis on things felt good. But I was searching for something better. I came up with this brilliant idea. I went outside and found the family dog. Took him to my room. He was a one big great dane. He really liked ketchup. So I took a bunch and put it on my penis. A few weeks later we had a daily licking session. My mama walked in on me one time. I've suddenly felt the most surreal adrenaline rush run through me with shame and embarrassment. I thought I would have received the beating of a lifetime. Instead my mom laughed uncontrollably for a few minutes as I was crying out of shame. She didn't do anything to me. But she did say when you grow up. You better have enough money to pay my rent. This isn't really that dark or anything. But it is pretty hilarious. So my uncles all a hunt and they would go to a taxidermist and get some of the things stuffed. I was about 7 or 8. And they brought home these two huge stuffed bears. Not stuffed toys or anything. Actual stuffed bears. And they were posed to stand and got set up in the playroom at my grandmother's. I don't really remember what my thought or motivation behind it was. But I have a distinct memory of sitting on the floor cross-legged. And this bear's private area was right in my face. And for whatever the iron reason. I was like. Oh. What is that little nub? I'm going to wrap my lips around it. About 20 seconds later I realize it was a penis and then freak out because I thought I was pregnant. TL. DR sucked a stuffed bear's penis and thought I was pregnant. And that is how teddy bears are made. When I was 7. I counted up all my change in my piggy bank to open a bank account. My mom decided to exchange my coins with her bills. Letting me grab it from her purse before I went to the bank. In her wallet was more money than I had ever seen in my life. $30. And I took an extra 20 on the sly. She didn't notice until the next day at work when she discovered it missing. She accused her co-worker who was in the midst of having a mental breakdown of stealing it. Who rightly flipped out over the accusation. Their boss tried to mediate but ended up firing the co-worker over losing control of their anger. I hear the story that evening in horror. And throw the $20 in the garbage. I never told a soul. Till that I'm not as ed up as I thought I was. I killed a man in Laos. A robber. I didn't mean to. Hit his body and everything. I'm going to hang hell. Spanked it in class in the 9th grade. The class was in session. They knew. Throw away for obvious reasons. But I was in 8th grade and we had an assembly. I had on a big sweatshirt that day and I thought no one could tell what I was doing underneath. No one said anything. I got a random erection and felt the urge to jerk off. 
I ended up just rubbing it for a while until I finally jizzed my pants. The part about this story that makes it different is that we were watching a film about the holocaust during this particular assembly. When I was a child. I lived in a foster home. I had my own room. With a TV and every day I came home from school and watched Fox's Fun House. Had me a crush on MR. J. D. Roth. One day another girl came and moved into my room. I wouldn't have minded except she was mean and controlling and wouldn't let me watch my beloved show. One day she told me that her mom actually lived a few blocks away from our house. And I convinced her to run away. I didn't realize at the time that runaways ended up getting sent to a group home. I just knew that I wanted her gone. It's been almost 20 years since that happened and I still feel terrible. I hope she is okay. Me and my sister drew a hunt three times. Almost got caught the third time so we stopped. Can I just ask a quick question? What prompted you to finally tell this? Did you wake up this morning and go? Today is the day I come clean about the cat v Gina incident. To the internet. Question mark. Because I'm quite curious about the impetus for this. Not sure. It's something I've always wanted to get off my chest. I let my friend lick my butthole for a sock and bopper sword. I never got to keep the sword. Works every time. When I was around 4 or 5 I pretended to be a cat and I pooped in the sandbox. Upvote this comment if you love Justin Bieber. I had SX at 4 for the first time. Basically we were just playing doctor and we understood that me and her, same age and height, could have intercourse standing. So. Yes you can have an erection at 4. Yes I did penetrate her. I just inserted my penis in her vagina 2 3 times a day and left it there. We did this for 2 summers and then she had a vaginitis so she told the doctor about it. In fact the whole neighborhood knew it by the end of the summer. 25 years after we are still very embarrassed of this when we cross each other. I'm myself at the movie theater. Regularly? Till everyone on reddit was gay as a child. When I was a kid I went to jump off a diving board and I slipped on one side pretty much landing on my vagina in a side ward split. There was a ton of blood and I only had a small tiny cut down there. I'm pretty positive my hymen broke because of it but I never talked to my mom about it after it happened. Sorry to be insensitive. Went to my friends at age 8 or so he said dude you gotta try this dog milk it is delicious. He then proceeds to suck his dog off until it comes in his mouth. Lost a good friend that day. When I was 5 I was hanging out with my brother. Playing soccer. He fell. And being the huge wimp he was he went to get a band aid. I decided to explore a little around our apartment. I heard some noises. And when I looked around the corner I saw two people beating the other younger kid. About 16. Then one of them said palabras phenomenons, comma, final words. And the teen said dios te bendiga. God bless you. He then made eye contact with me. They pulled out a gun and put a bullet in his head. They didn't see me until I started to cry. I went to therapy for years. And still wake up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat. Don't he sweat it. Bro. I stick my fingers in animal vaginas all the time. I work with vets. Though. So it's part of the job. Comma I work with vets. Don't be fooled. This man works with war veterans. Dude. I wear a colostomy bag. I deal with damn disgusting every damn day. Still. Nothing compares to the day I realized. Hey. This is probably someone's fetish. Do not google ostomy fetish. Just. Dot. Don't. When I was 6. My mom had grounded me for the first time for pouring all of our water jugs out. I was in my room while the rest of the family went to get McDonald's. I didn't know the rules of being grounded. Other than I had to stay in my room. I eventually had to take her. I knew I couldn't leave to go to the bathroom. So I grabbed a clue box in my room. Opened it. Put the lid down. And ed. So satisfying. TL. 
DR. I had in a clue box. I was in the stall taking her after lunch in 7th grade. My friend comes into the bathroom and starts throwing paper towel into my stall. Next I hear him walk up to the urinal which is a stall away to my right. I reach into the toilet and throw one of my turds over the stalls and it smacks the ground by his foot with a nasty splat and it exploded all over his shoes and bottom of his jeans. I heard him scream then run out. I had to run out of my stall and pick the turd up with paper towel while another kid came in and saw me doing that. My hands smelt like even after washing them three times. And my friend smelt worse. TL. DR. Threw a turd at my friend. I prostituted myself when I was underage. When I was 29 I beat myself so savagely I lost consciousness and was so bruised around the face and neck I had to take time off of work and come up with a story about being attacked out of fear that I'd end up in a psych ward. Several times in my life I have beaten walls. Floors. Sidewalks with such force that I've had to get stitches. On multiple occasions I have slammed my own head into insert surface object here on impulse. A few mirrors. When I was very young I would physically abuse myself as sorely, not in the way most kids do. From 13 until my mid 20s I would burn myself and drip hot wax on myself in the same spot over and over and over. I haven't done anything since I was 29. I still worry about what I'll do to me sometimes. Looking at myself and realizing something so hateful was looking back. I haven't seen it or felt it since then but the fear that it is there lingers. No. I've never done anything violent to anyone in my life outside of your average scraps. Between the ages of 12 and 14. I could, and frequently did, suck my own dick. I'm delicious. Hey dude. I did the same thing. I just told my girlfriend last week. Boy did she have a laugh. Then I gave her some tips. Who is laughing now? Is anyone as surprised as me that SZI Pizza wasn't taken as an account name? I used to think dirty thoughts about a kindergarten teacher. I was in kindergarten and we're both female. Granted my idea of dirty was hugging and rolling around. Not the ending I was looking for. Never has one single thread made me both laugh and cry so much. Respect. Reddit. You are a multifaceted beast. I spat on one of those spinning swing rides at a park. Landed in my friend's mouth. Told him it was the arsehole kid in front of me. My friend beat the out of that kid and got a misdemeanor. In the second grade a friend and I used to sword fight with our penises. We called it the fight club of the wiggly chain. We did it maybe 10ish times. Good times. I used to collect grasshoppers and crickets and remove their back legs so they wouldn't jump away. It was only a few days after I started when I realized how cruel it actually was. I still feel bad. And that was at least 18 years ago. Till tons of girls have lost their virginity to clumsy falls. Well. When I was in 4th grade. Few of my friends thought it would be hilarious to each take it on our teacher's computer screen and smear it in. After the deed was done. We washed our hands and waited smugly for school to start. When she saw what happened to the screen. She fainted. When she fell. She broke her right wrist and got a concussion. The principal said whoever did it would be expelled. I haven't seen those kids since 5th grade and we never talked about it again. Throwaway account. Not me. But my grandmother ran over a kid way back in the 30s with the family car. She was sent to an institution rather than going to jail because her family had money and her father was an investigator with the police. Apparently the scene was extremely gruesome and she had nightmares about it until she died in 1998. After she died. We discovered that she was almost certainly drunk when it happened. I had a little 2 cm sticker photo I got printed out at the seaside. It was a picture of me smiling. I used to get completely naked and stick it on the head of my penis, flaxid. I would then move my foreskin up and consume the picture. Once everything was set I'd run out my room and find the first family member I could. They'd look at me and I'd shout where is he? 
then they would respond in some fashion and I would reply here he is. Whilst furiously retracting my foreskin to expose the sticker. Dark times. What the did I just read? Did anybody else read where is he in the Batman voice? Throw away for this. When I was 16. I once took a styrofoam cup and cut a small hole in the bottom. Then. Once everyone left my house. I tried to emsturb it with it. No lubricant or anything. Just shoved my dickhead through the bottom of the penny sized hole I made. It hurt like hell and crushed the head of my penis. Last time I tried emsturbating in any kind of creative way. And that's the story of the first Christmas. This will probably get buried but this is mine. I was once having sex with a girl on her period and I came inside her. We lay there for a while and then after about 10 minutes of chatting and she decided she would mount me. What fell onto my chest now has the nickname Lemon and should never be uttered in my vicinity. So is Riddick just full of stupid novelty accounts now or what is this? Was molested by my baba sister's son. Then had to sit outside the door while he did the same thing to my twin sister. I was so scarred I couldn't do anything but pray for my sister. This happened a few times. I found out everyone knew about it. But no one ever got us help. The sick did end up going to a mental institution. I had an argument with an ex-best friend and blew my nose into her you acute dwelled body butter. Then shoved the handle of her hairbrush up my ass. I was only 10. And she did just joke that my MSN boyfriend killed himself. Seems like the hairbrush up the ass would hurt you more than it would hurt her. Nice job on the body butter though. I downloaded a car. This will probably get buried. When I was in second grade my babysitter who was 67 molested me for 2 years I didn't know any better and was told not to tell on my own. At age 16 I become furious with what happened and ended up getting a knife and stabbing him in the middle of the night I told him if he told anyone that I would turn him in for molesting me. He ended up dying 2 weeks later I was never found. I threw away a bacon sandwich. In 3rd grade. I cheated on my history exam. In 4th grade. I stole my uncle Max's toupee and I glued it on my face when I was Moses in my Hebrew school play. In 5th grade. I knocked my sister Edie down the stairs and I blamed it on the dog as when my mom sent me to the summer camp for fat kids and then they served lunch I went nuts and I pigged out and they kicked me out us but the worst thing I ever done is that I mixed a pot of fake puke at home and then I went to this movie theater. Hit the puke in my jacket. Climbed up to the balcony and then. Then. I made a noise like this. Hua 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 osa and then I dumped it over the side. All over the people in the audience. And then. This was horrible. All the people started getting sick and throwing up all over each other. Went to see me sick friend at her house and grabbed a soda from her fridge. Opened it. But didn't take a drink and set it on her coffee table. I picked up the wrong drink. Only thinking for a split second that it didn't stay cold for very long. I accidentally drank out of the can that she was spitting lodges into. My life during the 90s is a bit of a blur due to an undiagnosed mental disorder. But on one occasion. My buddy was eating a sandwich that had been cross contaminated with a foreign object due to my own clumsiness. He was so upset that I chose to remain silent about my involvement in the event. Things got out of hand when he filed a lawsuit against the company that supplied the canned tuna on his sandwich. I finally broke down and confessed that I put the screw in the tuna. My little black micropenis. Secret because no one has seen it yet. And I still have it. But I used to too. I used to do drugs. I still do drugs. But I used to too. This thread is affecting me worse than our spasadics. Ever since I was 12, I'm 16 now, me and my cousin, who was 11 at time, would start experimenting as so early. Started innocently. With her jacking me off. She initiated. Next time we met. It escalated. Last year. We went on a family vacation to their cottage for two weeks. It escalated. It made it a lot harder because she is very hot. We dry it everywhere. 
but never got to Essex. Finally. One night. In the pool, we were alone. She took off my trunks and flung her clothes away as well. Told me to stick it in her back and we got it on for a solid 15 minutes. Comma started innocently. With her jacking me off. Dude. That's not. Innocent. Pro tip. Don't read anything in here if you ever plan on smiling again. Throw away here. Ever since I found out about Reddit. I thought about doing the same AMA. I totally hooked up with my sister when I was younger. Her and I have never spoken about it since. And her and I have a pretty normal sibling relationship. I really think that it was just kind of like a sibling experimentation thing but I really have felt guilty about it even till now. I'm 20 years old now it probably happened when I was 8-11. I can't remember exactly. But I never told anyone and my girlfriend just got painfully close to seeing this post. I pulled the tag off of a mattress in the store. Whoa. We got bedness over here. Reposting this for the third time but I feel I need to share. Again. I once bare fisted a floater out of the tur at school. For respect. Comma bare fisted a floater out of the tur. We're still speaking English. Right? Once I was invited to a drinking sleepover. With guys and girls. But most of the guys left or slept in other places of the house. So. I was the only guy sleeping in a room with 8 or 9 drunk females. I was young and naive. So I didn't take advantage of any of them. But when they woke up and started changing clothes and all. I pretended to be sleep. And got a 30 minutes show of girls changing clothes. I suffocated a baby rabbit that was about the size of a mouse when I was very young. My sister and I found it in the road and my mom was letting us keep it in a shoe box. I remember that we'd been getting it to eat, don't remember what. So it probably would have made it if not for me. It was my turn to have it in my room for the night. I don't remember taking it out of the box. Maybe it jumped out. Maybe I took it out. But I woke up in the morning and I didn't know where it was. Found it under my pillow. I took it to my mom. Asking what was wrong with it. It was so cold. I know I didn't mean to do it. But I'm probably going to feel guilty about it until the day I die. I used to suck on my mom's nipples. Me too. Tell her I said hi. Ed my boss on the rug I used to teach the kindergarten students on. Also on one of the chairs used by the adults in the classroom. No. The students weren't there at the time. Teaching in that classroom always felt weird after that. You only used your finger. Ha. Huh. Oh man. I had friends who worked in a mental institution. And there was this one guy there who was the reason they couldn't have therapeutic cats around. He kept eyeing them. Oh acute oh acute oh acute oh acute. I never see torrents. I used to give cocaine to girls so they would become addicted to any. I once sharted in the shower thinking it was a fart. Didn't discover it until later at school when I found dry diarrhea on the back of my legs. When I was like 6 or so. I hooked the dog's leash, which was attached to the railing of the basement stairs, to the cat's collar and she ran frantically down the stairs and into the basement. I waited there hoping she'd come out. But she didn't for several minutes and the leash stopped wiggling. I went downstairs and found her. And she had pulled on the leash so hard it pulled her collar part of the way over her head so that it choked her. And she wasn't moving or breathing. I freaked out. Took the leash and collar off. And rubbed her throat and chest the way the dad does in 101 Dimensions to save the unresponsive puppy and thankfully she came to after a minute or so and turned out fine. Not really on par with some of these but. My stepmom to be and I are sitting on the couch watching TV at my dad's. When suddenly we hear a muted squeaking. She gets this freaked out look on her face and is like oh god. There's a mouse on the sticky trap. Decepticron. You innocent 8 year old. Can you deal with it? I'll buy you a pack of magic cards. Obviously my dad is out ATM. I had no idea what to do. And I wanted the cards. I figured if my dad set the trap. 
and given that most mouse traps kill mice. I should kill the mouse. I picked up the trap and looked the mouse in the eye. It was so scared. And had broken both its front legs trying to get out of the sticky pad. I put the trap in a bucket and took it outside and filled that up with the hose. Heard the squeaking get quicker and quicker and then stop. Then I just left it there for my dad. We drove and got the magic cards.